Hey Aries couples, welcome to your general reading with Angelic Ascensions. My name is Angela. Genuinely hope all is well. Thank you for joining me today. Let's get right into your reading. Aries couples, Holy Spirit, show me what is relevant and what it is that you would like Aries couples to know. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aries is a shuffle for the answers. I want you guys to bear in mind that this is a general reading which means that this is a reading meant for the masses. And this means that everything in the reading may not resonate to a T to your situation. Because bear in mind, this is a general reading, not a personal reading. If you would like a personal reading based on your own personal energies and not the general energies of your sign, you can always book a personal reading on my website, which is angelicascensionstarot.com. Understand that not everything happens at the same time for everybody. And um, keep an open mind when you listen to this reading. I see a codependent situation. And I feel like there is somebody in this situation, whether this is you or your partner, that may have sexual chemistry with someone else. Somebody may be looking for an outlet outside of this relationship and may want to just have fun with somebody. And they may have felt like they, they may have found that situation between you and someone could be very toxic at this time. Uh, you may have a child with this person, some of you. And yes, some of you may feel like you're settling in this situation and may enter another relationship on the rebound. Yep. This is looking very similar to cancer. Aries, you showed up very, you showed up like front and center for cancer. I feel like there's some distance between you and your partner, possibly some friction at this time. Things are tense between you and your partner. There could even be some arguments. I feel like there could definitely be people that are in your ear. And I feel like there's someone that's definitely falling out of love. Maybe developing a bond with somebody else. I feel like this was you guys. And I feel like somebody may get caught up in a karmic situation and could end up in a pregnancy with somebody else. Yep. There's Leo. Fire showed up like front and center for cancer. Cancer showed up in the fire reading. And yep, we got Leo and Aries showed up in the past reading. Um, and Aries showed up in Cancer's reading. Parallels is what I'm trying to say. There's definitely an earth sign. This could be someone with earth and fire in their chart. This could be somebody who's really good looking, possibly. Somebody that could be using their looks to their advantage in the situation. I feel like there's somebody attracted to your partner. Some of you, like, I know I thought I was getting that for cancer, that there's somebody at work, possibly. Mm -hmm. I feel like somebody's coming back. There's a Gemini and a Scorpio. Yep, this King of Cups individual with the death card is a Scorpio. But I did say cancer also, cancer Pisces. Scorpio shows up the strongest. Capricorn. Yeah, you do have kids with somebody. Somebody's on to it. Somebody could be going to a reader to get some answers. And there's definitely a Virgo here. This King of Pentacles could definitely be a Virgo. I see Leo. I did mention Leo already. Somebody is cheating. There's unhappiness in this connection because of somebody's cheating habits. It's like somebody doesn't have the heart to leave the situation. Even though somebody feels like the relationship has is, is become a disaster. Has become very unhealthy. And I feel like somebody may feel like even though there's like a twin flame connection here for some of you guys. Somebody may feel like this person brings out the worst in you. And somebody may be looking for full, for fulfillment outside of this relationship. And somebody may feel attacked, may feel triggered in this connection. 
could be something that's causing some conflict, but no doubt somebody's not happy here. They feel like they're settling in this situation and they feel like maybe they're not receiving what they need, but just may have a difficult time moving on from a situation that's over and it's not really going anywhere. I definitely feel like someone's whereabouts are being watched. Somebody could be snooping around to find out what's going on because it definitely feels like something is over. Somebody's heart is not in this situation any longer and there's a separation. Yeah, and here it is. There's definitely a karmic relationship where there is no joy. And somebody may feel like that they, they, there's a twin flame. If you guys are not twin flames, then somebody may feel like they have a twin flame connection with somebody and it looks like that's where they want to be. So if this is the karmic relationship, I feel like somebody is exiting out of this. Somebody's heart is not in it any longer. And it's like this is expired. The expiration date is here with the tower card. This is done. Somebody just needs some clarity about where they want it. clarity about the fact that this is over. And that this was kind of like it wasn't built to last. The cycle has come to a close. And somebody may have a daughter with somebody else. It's over. It's done is what this looks like. And somebody may be entering another. This could be a karmic relationship that was entered into on the rebound. A karmic relationship. And for others of you, somebody is exiting this relationship to go into a karmic relationship. It just depends on what you are. The karmic relationship or the twin flame bottom line somebody is returning to a twin flame if you are the twin flame you guys may separate for a time and the person your person may come back your significant other may come back but i feel like there may be some shocking news that comes into into you into the situation where you may something here may be revealed yeah some Somebody definitely has destructive behavior. This could be somebody that has kids all over the place and that may not take responsibility for their kids. For some of you, that might be the case. I see somebody running, somebody who is a runner, somebody that has a fear of being close, fear of intimacy and a connection, maybe running from an Aquarius. There's definitely an aqua in this reading. It's like somebody definitely gave somebody a sense of stability. It was definitely a long-term connection that they felt elsewhere, I feel. I don't know. Somebody sees the other one as the villain. Definitely a Scorpio. So maybe this is a Scorpio sun. But I feel like there's somebody that may get the clarity they, that they need about a situation. So I feel like very strongly, Aries, that something came, someone may have come in between the two of you. I feel for some of you guys that your partner may be seeing you as the villain, may not, may have this refusal to understand where you're coming from. And it may lead to a separation because somebody feels that the grass is greener elsewhere. Like I said, that ends up being a karmic relationship. And that situation that ends up in a situation that's not belt to last they may enter a rebound situation with somebody else and i'm feeling like one of you guys may feel like it's over you don't want to do this again because of all the tension the arguments and the stress that you guys are going through as well as the secrets because it's very clear that somebody is hiding something from you it may be a pregnancy somebody could have cheated and gotten somebody else pregnant and i feel like somebody is feeling very sad about a decision that they made if that's not the case now, I feel like that may be something that's coming up. And I feel like there's somebody that's missing you, possibly a Taurus, and they're not really coping with it very well. For some of you, random, this is either a tarot card reader or there could be somebody that is talking to a card reader. Like I said, stalking, trying to keep track of what's going on in the situation, maybe trying to keep, keep up with your whereabouts. 
And I feel like there is somebody that may have a difficult time hiding how they feel for you. And I feel like somebody may be completely insensitive of your feelings. Either you Aries or your partner may feel this way, your significant other. This could even be your kid that feels this way. Like this may not even be a romantic type of situation, even though I'm trying to call this a love reading. This could, like I said, listen to this with an open mind. I see children involved. Children have feelings in this situation as well. There may be a child that feels this feeling of, of loss and grief. But I feel that there's somebody in the situation that may be leading somebody else on Somebody may, you may have be feeling like your partner is leading you on and that their heart really isn't in this anymore. Bottom line, something ends, but has the potential to begin again, because I feel like there's a very strong bond between you and your significant other, especially, like I said, if this is a twin flame union, there's definitely a very strong bond here that brings you guys back together after a separation, after an outside karmic relationship, after there are lessons that are learned from that connection, I feel like something brings somebody back. Promise you somebody has addictions and rather than like somebody uses addictions as a means of escape. And I feel like somebody in the situation, whether this is you or your partner, may have a difficult time like staying in the relationship where there's difficulties and may feel like the answer is to run rather than try to solve things between the two of you. Somebody may have cheated, gotten somebody else pregnant, and may be a bit, a bit nervous to confront you. Bottom line, I definitely feel like there's going to be an offer coming in. This could even be an apology. Some of you, random side note, you may have been going through some financial setbacks. Um, and I definitely see you getting back on your feet. For some of you, this could be a new job offer or some of you may be considering um, a new path when it comes to work. You may have a decision to make when it comes to, um, yeah, your career, maybe whether or not to take a spiritual route for some of you. Like I said, random side note, but let's see. How might this play out for the Aries couple, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Aries, Holy Spirit. Passion. Definitely sense that somebody is sleeping with someone else, sharing that passion outside of this relationship. Yeah, there may be someone, your child's other parent possibly, that may come back to try to heal these old issues with you. Someone that may want forgiveness. Some of you may not have kids with this person. If that's not the case, disregard that part. But there's definitely a heart to heart that needs to be had because I feel that there is someone that, like I said, feels this very strong bond when it comes to you. The trust has been broken, but you guys may potentially re-enter the honeymoon phase. But somebody will need to make the effort. And I feel like that's kind of like what's missing is maybe you feel like your partner's not making the effort. They're not stepping up in the situation. But I'm feeling like moving forward, you may expect some, maybe possible for you to expect some type of powerful change. We did just have an eclipse. So this could be something that takes place in the next moon cycle. The next new moon. Which is possibly coming up within the next couple of weeks. Maybe around the holiday season. Could be when you might expect some type of change to take place in this situation. That may be for some of you when you guys, this heart to heart conversation may actually take place. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing for you guys. For the Aries and the advice. A Holy Spirit for the Aries couples. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. I did say Capricorn, right? I believe I did. Yes, I did. Holy Spirit, the advice for the Aries. Surrender obsessive thinking and surrender frustration. Okay, so you might be obsessing over someone, over a situation. If you're obsessing about a person or situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help 
bring you clarity or even solve the problem. Spirit is saying, what is your obsessive thinking going to do about this situation? Does it change it? Does it make it better? No. So maybe time to surrender it. Let that go. And there may be some lingering frustration that you have with somebody because maybe they're not seeing it from your perspective. They're not hearing you out. They're not seeing, seeing it from where you're coming from. Yeah. And that could be adding to the tension. And what Spirit is saying is frustration doesn't open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath, center yourself, and regroup so that you may approach the situation more calmly. Yeah, frustration. You guys may be taking a breather for a period of time. And then once tempers have cooled, there may be a block that may potentially be resolved that may get you guys to remove this point of contention between the two of you guys and actually have a civil conversation to figure out the ultimate fate of this relationship. Trust and believe, though, your intuition is not wrong. Trust in it. That might be what you're obsessively thinking about. You might be suspecting that something's not right. You may not be able to put your finger on it. This might be what you're obsessing about. Spirit is saying surrender. The answers it will be given to you via your intuition, but you may have to clear your head of this frustration in order for you to clearly hear your intuition. That may be what's required. But that's what I see for you, Aries. If you would like to book a personal with me, you can head over to my website, which is angelicascensionstarot.com you found Aries that this video was helpful to you feel free to leave a thumbs up below leave a comment your bravery uh, to tell your story may inspire someone else you never know consider subscribing if you guys already haven't and I will see you guys in the next one peace out